Hey guys, it's Vault again in my fifth Pokemon Go video, and today I'm going to be talking about the main issue in Go Battle League. And you'll be able to see right here in a moment is the lag. So the lag is a big issue in this game. As you can see, I was going to swap to my Grand Bull, but unfortunately, it bugged out and it lagged and then my move set for my shift tree went off I'm just going to talk a little bit about the lag because it is not something I'm going to show you in all my games today it's just going to be this mainly this first game right here because that would be boring just to watch me losing because of lag but it is a pretty big issue in the game right now um uh, used to be that people would exploit and like turn on and off their Wi-Fi or turn on and off their airplane mode on their their iPhone or whatever and it would cause it to lag but they supposedly fixed that and now it's just based on your connection and most of the time or all of the other t or most of the time or all of the time it's the other person because I have extremely good internet and I know for a fact it's not me so I am a little bit skeptical on you know go battle league just strictly because of the lag right now and it's extremely hard to climb because you're, you're basically just throwing away your games because of how laggy the you know the matches and it's not it's not fun to, to play for anyone if you're lagging as you can see here right again he starts to lag as well which i know it's because of him because he wasn't attacking so he's lagging on his end and as you can also see in the the left side of the screen it's just a loading pokeball knowing that it is also lagging and even though because of this lag, I almost won the game, but unfortunately I just barely lose. Which is unfortunate, but still. Just real unfortunate that it's lagging. But here in our next match, I'm not going to be showing the lag. So right here he comes out with Haunter. I could have stayed on my shift tree, but I wanted to swap because I wasn't quite sure if he was going to have, um, if he wasn't going to have like water types or anything. So I wanted to preserve my shift tree. More than likely, I probably should have kept it on that, but I didn't. And as you guys can see here on the left as well, I'm using Shiftry, Grand Bull, and my Mel Metal. And I also changed from the previous videos, showing the the percent for the PvP rating that they have. So as you can see, my Shiftry is not the greatest. I'm still looking for a pretty good Shiftry, but my Grand Bull and my Mel Metal, you could not have pretty much like a better IV for PvP for them. So that's very good. Um, he does come out with Alteria right here. And I use my Foul Play because that's going to do more damage than my Leaf Blade. And I swap. Because I know my Mel Metal can take a Sky Attack. And my Shiftry would get one shot. So I swap. And... I use my stone edge because I know that's going to deal super effective. And as you can see here once again, even though it's not really a factor in this game, is the opponent once again starts to lag, which is, you know, just unfortunate for him. But it is a big issue in this and it needs to get resolved pretty soon. As you can see, we get the win here. We're going on to our next match. So here in our next match, we're facing him coming out with a manatee and 
I don't really like facing manatees just based on the comp I have, but it is something that is doable. And right here, he does not decide to block and I do half damage. And then he comes out with his very good Pokemon right here. And I know that my, my dark is going to deal is super effective to it. And I believe he knows that as well, so he shields. And I get my attack right before he gets his again. And I use my foul play once again. And he decides to shield once again. So he obviously knows that my attack would do super effective, so he does not want that to happen. get my foul plate and I deal super effective because he has no more shields left so this is where the match gets a little bit iffy because I know he's gonna have his attack and unfortunately he does have an ice attack and that's going to one shot me so I swapped to my grand bolt And he knows that ice isn't going to deal a lot of damage to my Grand Bull, so he uses his Bubble Beam, but unfortunately that does not do like hardly any damage towards me. At this point, he swaps his Altaria and my Grand Bull is going to deal super effective right there. I probably should not have used my attack, but I decided to anyway. And he dies there. And I use my rock slide. Unfortunately, it was a little bit laggy right there, so I wasn't able to get it off. But I already realized that I've won this game. So I'm going to get my stone attack, and that's going to deal super effective. And I'm going to use my Stone Edge from what I've charged up from the Altaria, and it's going to deal super effective once again. So as you can see, you know, this comp is still working pretty good. It is getting me wins, but it is a lot harder to rank up since I am facing better people along with, you know, all the recent lag issues that Go Battle League has been having. So I used my Leaf Blade knowing it would one shot her Whiskash, but unfortunately she blocks and she just gets it off a second before I do. So I decide to shield because she has Blizzard and that will one shot. And I get my Leaf Blade once again. And she decides to swap. And right there I swap to my Mel Metal just because I know Rock Slide is going to deal, you know, moderate damage to the Discarmony. So I believe I just called it a Shift Tree, but Discarmony. And I'm not going to decide to block right here because I know this guy attack's not going to deal super effective. And I get my Rock Slide once again. I try to farm him down, but unfortunately I'm not able to farm him down before he gets his sky attack off. But I'm still just going to tank it because I'm still not quite sure what his last Pokemon is. He comes out with his Whis Whiskash again, and I get my Rock Slide off right before I die. Even though it's not going to deal, you know, a lot of damage. And I pull out my Granbull coming out with an attack, so I know that's going to be able to one-shot her Whiskash. And it does. And the last Pokemon is a Zoomerill, so this is good for me because my Shift Tree is still alive, and it's just two uh, charged attacks of my Leaf Blade, and it will kill the Zoomerill. And as well, I still have a shield available because I knew that... Uh, I knew because of her Whiskash, 
and I wanted to just protect. And as you can see there, that's another win. So coming on to our last matchup. I come out with my shift tree and he comes out with a scrumony. So I do one attack and swap just to get a little bit charged on my shift tree. And I hit my rock slide. Once again, it's going to deal, you know, moderate damage, but he decides to block and then he swaps. And he swaps to the Swamper, and I want to, I want to keep, uh, and he decides to block again, and right here, I know that he's probably going to have Hydro Cannon, and that's going to deal a lot of damage to my Mel Metal, so I want to keep him alive, but the issue this match has right here is that I swap first, which is bad for me, just because I'm already, you know, Vulnerable, vul vulnerable to um, you know whatever he counters me with and since he's countering me with my Mel metal with his swamper I know I'm going to have to you know use my shields because I, I, I need to protect him so I can focus on this harmony and the issue right here was uh, I swapped to my shiftry so I can kill his swamper but he already has a sky attack and then i swap or after my shiftry dies i swap back to my mel metal and then he immediately swaps so this is kind of bad for me once again just because you know i need my mel metal to focus on his shiftry but unfortunately it's about to go down right here but i do get an attack off right before i do go down And I'm just going to, you know, try to farm down that Deoxys as fast as possible, but unfortunately I can't. And he has Thunderbolt, which is moderate damage, about half on my Grand Bull. And right here, I know I'm not going to win the match, just based on the health of my Grand Bull. And that Crunch does not deal that much damage. I need to get a second move set on my Grand Bull, but unfortunately I don't have a lot of candies right now for him, so I'm unable to. But as you can see right here, it's it's a close matchup, but he does get a sky attack right before and he wins the match. So as you can see here, I'm still slowly climbing up in the ranks on the way to rank 9, but unfortunately it's going to take a while because of just how few points you gain if you win like three matches in a set as you can see right there i only go up five points and i hope you guys enjoyed the video i appreciated the support on the last video and see you guys in the next pokemon go video